India has reached the grim milestone of 400,000 deaths from the coronavirus. Half are from the second wave of the past few months that overwhelmed the healthcare system. India is only the third country in the world behind the US and Brazil to record more than 400,000 deaths. With most fatalities in the second wave aged from 30 to 50, many children have been left orphaned. Nihal Punia reports. Government records indicate that 577 children have been orphaned in India in the last two months alone. But officials admit this figure is a huge underestimation. Since the, there is underreporting of the COVID deaths, there is by default underreporting of the children who have lost parents, and, and the two are interconnected. So I'm sure, depending on how much is the underreporting, two times, three times, four times, I don't know, the underreporting of children who have lost parents could be of, of similar proportion. And there are fears the problem could be even more serious as India could have undercounted its COVID-19 deaths by five to ten times. Mr. Kundu describes it as a national emergency. Delhi's Commission for the Protection of Child Rights set up a helpline in April for children impacted by the second wave in the capital. They've since received more than double the distress calls that a separate national helpline got each month from across the country before the second wave hit. Authorities are also trying to track down orphans by studying the official death records and calling families who've lost loved ones. In some cases, hospitals are also asking parents to sign a form before admission, outlining who will look after their children if they pass away. Child protection groups have also roped in local police teams, village healthcare workers and civil society organizations to try and identify children that have been impacted. Protsahan is one such NGO that's working with vulnerable children in nearly 50 slums across Delhi. They're canvassing these localities to identify children who've lost one or both parents to COVID. They aim to ensure that these children aren't institutionalized and are instead adopted by extended family. The team, led by Preeti, puts together food kits and school supplies to be handed out to children in distress. सबसे ज्यादा थ्रेट तो बेसिकली उन्हें अपने आप को बिल्कुल असहाय अनाथ फील कर रहे हैं हम कितना भी उनको सपोर्ट कर दे राशन का या प्रोटीन किट का हम उनको हील नहीं कर सकते हैं हम उनको उनके मम्मी पापा नहीं दे सकते हैं तो अभी तो वो जो भी ऐसे बच्चे हैं उनके चाचा चाची उनकी देखरेख कर रहे हैं और चाचा चाची भी उतने कैपेबल नहीं है कि उन बच्चों का भार उठा पाए तो हम बेसिकली वो थोड़ा कम करने की कोशिश करते हैं the Indian government says it plans to educate COVID orphans and provide $14,000 to each child after they turn 18. Various states have announced monetary assistance and child protection groups are also offering counselling to these children. But aid workers warn that while helping COVID orphans should be a priority, the government must also extend a helping hand to 26,000 children who've lost a parent to the virus since the pandemic started. In many instances, the NGO says girls are now being sexually abused by their own family members. Many other children are being pushed into child labour to support families who've lost their breadwinners to COVID-19. The COVID orphan has an issue. Yes, it is an issue. But it is 3% or 5% part of the issue. The other 95% is, is the children where they, they will never go back to school. They will probably just end up working at a dhaba. The you know 12 year olds, 14 year olds who are ending up pregnant. We are looking at a sea of broken children. At the peak of the second wave, many also put up messages like these on social media, illegally offering children up for adoption. Authorities have been cracking down on this, with India's Women and Child Development Minister warning against such offers. Officials say we may only know in hindsight how many children have fallen prey to traffickers because of this. COVID hasn't just robbed many of these children of a childhood, but also put an entire generation at risk. Neha Punia, CNA, New Delhi.